Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing day. We're going to read the facts of the matter. And today's facts of the matter is on not losing hope. It's a shame a lot of Christians, as soon as times turn bad in their eyes, or they feel that they have to lose something, that they lose all hope. The tragedy of man is not that he dies, but what dies within him while he still lives. And that quote is from Albert Schutzer. <laughs> from Albert. I'm going to read a story that's on the facts of the matter, and then, you know, hopefully, if I feel led, I will get into it a little more. Some years ago, the wife of a close friend walked out on the marriage, leaving the husband with their four children, all under ten. When this event struck, he had just completed his Ph.D. and was embarking upon a promising, sorry, a promising teaching career at a prestigious university. Desperate now for help in raising his children, he found it necessary to relinquish his position and return to the city of his parents to enlist their assistance. Early one morning before driving his U-Haul truck of household goods the 1,400 miles north, he stopped to say goodbye. It was painfully obvious that he was deeply crushed by the desertion of his wife and the uncertain future awaiting him. So he talked wept and prayed and finally bid farewell and as he climbed in the cab of the truck with his four small children he looked down eked out a smile and said well dwight i still have hope ain't that amazing as his vehicle disappeared from sight i was reminded the words penned by saint paul romans chapter 2 verse 2 through 5 But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which commit such things. And thinkest thou this, O man, that judgest them which do such things, and doeth the same, and thou shalt escape the judgment of God? Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance? But after thy hardness and impentant and penitent heart treasured up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Today, eight years later, my friend and his clan are doing beautifully. The children give every evidence of maturing spiritually and socially into responsible adults. Recently, he was appointed the head of his department and a respected institution of higher learning. With the sparkle back in his eyes, it is apparent that he is experiencing God's promise that hope does not disappoint us. So what do you do when the bottom falls out of your life? Allow that which, allow that which lies within you to die while you are still alive? And honestly, that's the path that so many Christians take. They choose to forget everything that they've ever been taught and just yell, scream, and have a fit because it doesn't go their way or the way they expected it to. Or do you choose to play your hope or <clears throat> do you choose to place your hope in the character and promise of God? Psalms chapter 43 verse 5 Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace 
and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Next time you're in a situation where it seems like stuff ain't going your way or a circumstance didn't turn out the way you wanted, before you start spouting off, think, meditate, pray, turn to Christ first. There's always a reason for things that happen. Some of them are to better your situation. Some of them are to teach you a lesson. And some of them are to make you stand on what you declared. And that is the facts of the matter. Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on us all. I love you guys very much. God bless.